Hi, we're here again uh, with Voice Community Conversation. We are in Stratford, the borough of Newham, and also the Olympic borough. Um, we are here to meet members of the community, hear what they have to say, issues which affect them within the borough, and also um, you know, hear some of, the, some of the good things that's, that's happening. This is our 30th year, and it's, it's, as in the Voice newspaper, celebrating 30 years. And part of our plan this year is to go out and meet people in each and every community and borough that there is in London. So we're here in Stratford, in Newham. Voice Community Conversation. And um, I think the, the Voice paper is, you know, a, a paper that gives people a lot of knowledge and information that you wouldn't normally get on mainstream, mainstream media, um, the, the usual uh, news networks. Um, you know, they tackle issues that are truthful and factual with, um, with sort of the... the, 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 the Church service, and the pastor's wife, woman, God said that there is witchcraft in the city centre. They are doing witchcraft. Do not go and be uh, anyone be aware. And a month prior, I'd experienced that. So, right, but to come this back comes to this back point, to yeah, these yeah. things. I just wanted to explain what these things, um, chic, this chic, sahib, this. Spiritualist healer, clairvoyant. Yeah. No, no, no. They can't help you. All right. If I can just say something about these, right? Um, we are open to um, clients who would like to advertise their products and services in our newspaper. Right. Um, we obviously vet them thoroughly, and we make sure that there's they're not you know breaking any laws or anything like that. Okay. In terms of advertising, they if these these um, clients didn't get a response from the publication. They would not be in there because obviously they would take their money and go somewhere else. Well, great, um, James. Thank you for sharing some of your thoughts with us okay. and your um, your criticism of the um, that section in the paper with the clairvoyance is noted. And thank you. We'll, um, make um, look to see what we can do with that. But thank you again. Well, thank you. I was, uh, I'm glad that you didn't uh, <laughs> discipline me. So thank you for your kind That's words. And, no uh, problem. Thank you. That's James here at Voice uh, Community Conversation. Thank you. Thanks. Right. We are here. We are here in Stratford for the Voice Conversation. And we are with, here with two ladies, beautiful ladies, if I must say, <laughs> who, are from, who live within Stratford. Um, Marianne and Avis. Mm. All right. So what, in right. terms of... You're living here in Stratford. Mm. Very exciting borough with all what's happening with a, in, a, in a couple of months' time. I mean, how do you find things here? Now? Very hectic. Yeah? Mm, mm, very hectic. It's, um, I don't think it's for us, really, because you can't even get a ticket for the Olympic, really? for the game. Oh. So it's not really for us. Yeah. Because my husband would have liked to go on to see... Um, bit of sports and that, but yeah. you know, you can't get the ticket or you can't afford the ticket. Okay. So yeah. it's not really for us. Right. So in terms of the living here, I mean, do you see it as do you see it as something that's welcomed or it's a hindrance or? What is it's, it? it's well, for like um, me, I think it's more hindrance because <coughs> um, you won't be able to go shopping. I work in the school. We have to break up. Um, yeah. Before the time, yeah. plus we have to um, have longer park. holiday. You can't park, yeah. You can't park. You're not going to be actually parking problems. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's going to get worse over the Olympics. Yeah. And my my concern is what happens after the Olympics. Oh, the legacy or anything like that, or just, just what's going to happen with the with the area? Right. I predict that it's just going to go down. Is that right? Yeah. What 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 made you feel that? Because um, nobody's got any money, so nobody's going to be able to afford the housing that's left. That's left back, yes. Right. Uh, there's going to be no jobs. Mm -hmm. They're creating jobs now for the Olympics, but right. what happens afterwards? After the Olympics, yeah. Yes. Mm. yeah. There's what, going to be a slump. What's going to happen? I've, I've, my prediction is it's going to go, Stratford's going to go downhill. Okay. So, we'll see. <laughs> okay. My well, son 
I went to work, but I used to drop my son at school, yeah. then I make my way home, go to work, yeah. and then back in time to pick him up, and then, but he didn't have designer gear, he had normal clothes, mm. you see, but it's a different um, time we're living in. Okay. Yeah. So, but they have to be the same as, the, as everybody else. Mm. Mm. They have to be. Sorry, my phone's on. They have yeah. to be the same as everybody yeah, else. They want all because the, otherwise the, they're yeah. a target. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They have to have all the gear. In terms I wouldn't of... be young today, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no way. You always get prostitutes along the Romford Road, anyway, just oh. past the baths. But the first time ever I saw prostitutes on the corner up at Manor Park first time ever so whether it's a coincidence or what I don't know and I've just come out of Morrison's and there's the police there there's another large it seems that we've got quite a lot of um, and I'm not racist please I'm not a, a Eastern European Romanian population they seem to there seems to be quite a lot have appeared in Newham and I've just come out of Morrison's and all of the police just Stand nicked. And also so. told me that they've closed down um, lot the brothel in um, Allgate and I forgot where it's Jacinda. Oh, right. That. Yeah. So, you know, that's a bit worrying as well because, you know, you don't have, you know, the men, you know, what the women, they grab hold of. Mm. If you're walking on your own at night, mm. you're a bit vulnerable, aren't you? That's right. Yeah. So I said to her, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not. So basically, the Olympics is going to attract. Yeah, some, the wrong sort. Maybe it's mm. wrong mm. sort of things. And, uh, well. Yeah. Well, you're going to get the pickpockets, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. As soon as there's a big crowd. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, I, we went to Columbia Row a few Sundays ago because my husband loves his garden. Mm. In front of me, the girl, the, in front of me was a Eastern European, and in front of him, he picked her pocket, but she caught him. And she's screaming out, he's got my purse, he's got my purse. Yeah. Nobody's helping her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just slivered back out of the crowd. And oh you just goodness. think, he's, he's going in, doing it and coming out again all, yeah. all day long, isn't he? Yeah. So it's on point here today. No, because he's supposed to be just now um, about, um, about the cutbacks, about the bursary or the EMA. OK. And how they cut it. So as soon as I came to college, they cut it. So, but they offered us a bursary instead. And it's only for people that have a low income. Right. In okay. their household. And uh, as soon as I came to college, it, uh, we all applied for it, and some people got it. So if you had a, little, a low income, you'd get it, and if you didn't have a low income, you wouldn't get it. So I applied for it, and then like the first month, they gave me, I think, £5, because that's how much they must give you, £5 a month, then, not a week, but a month. Yeah. Then. And then I got it, and then next, next month I didn't get it, so I'm thinking, why not? And then I found out sometimes if you're late, like if you're out uh, five minutes late, you don't get it. And then I found out that um, the first time they didn't give it to me, so I don't know how it um, magically appeared in my account, but yeah. they said they didn't give it to me. And then they said how my income is too high, but my mum's like not working at the moment right now for quite a while now, and they said my mum's income's too high, so I'm thinking how did they, okay. how are they lying about that? So I just had to live with that and use my dad's money or use the money that I, cause I work as well, kind of, so I use that money to go travel to college or buy my stationery or whatever or not. So how did you feel about that? I was angry. It was annoying because, you know, um, coming from secondary school and everyone's everyone talking about EMA, how they get EMA. Like, yeah, we get, like, um, what's it called? We get uh, a bonus if we're early, like, oh, yeah, we get a bonus, like a £100, um, £100 bonus or something like that. So, like, yeah, I want to go to college and get that as well because that sounds kind of fun. You get to spend money on yeah. your stuff. And then when I found out we came to college and we don't get a bursary instead, then after they, they start talking about saying how we borrow it and after that, we got to give back as soon as we start working. So I was angry about that. It's more of a loan, really. Yeah. Okay. So it was annoying. Yeah, I can imagine. So, do you feel like you have to work in order to to be able to survive? Yes, yeah, so I get the college. I got mm-hmm. a friend that um, she sometimes she got more college because she doesn't got the money to go right. to travel, and her mum can't give it to her because her mum's got low income as well. But she gets the bursary. But sometimes because it's not enough, it's only five pounds a month, not a week, but a month. So that that money can go so quick that out of order. So you feel like to bring back. The EMA, yeah. Okay. Um, so how do you feel about the Olympics? Oh. <laughs> um, it's right, it's just that all the foreigners that are coming in mm-hmm. and then sort of traffic, because I live right outside of the Olympics, yeah. right outside, and 
there's a lot of traffic jams, even for, um, for um, Westfield, there's a lot of traffic, and then the Olympics coming is it's packed everywhere. Yeah. It's fully packed, there's no, and there's people, people are rude as well, like, there's a lot of smoking, a lot of um, alcohol drinking everywhere, so wherever you go, there's just people there drinking in the park as well, because cause the Olympics, there's people in the park waiting for it to come, just everywhere's jammed, full of people, it's annoying. So you're not really looking forward to it then? Not really. But, um, and to apply for jobs mm-hmm. at the Olympics is really hard, I applied for jobs, but I never got through to anywhere. For the Olympics, and it's only been how long? It's only for two weeks, something like that. Three, Three weeks. Um, I thought it was pointless because they're um, blocking all these roads. So I thought it was a bit out of order. But um, for the people, for the, like, young students, young, young people. Um, well, if so, if they're like, if they're in sports and stuff like that, then it's all right because they they probably get into it. But if people that are not doing sports and they want to do something else, it's not really that it's not really that beneficial for them. So it's a bit, um, for people that are not doing, not, not, not that active in sports, it's not that fun. But for, people, for, for, the, people, for the people that are doing the sports and the football and the swimming and that like, active people, it's right for them. We have just completed one of our series of community conversation and today we were in the uh, Stratford, uh, in the borough of Newham. We're here at the Stratford Circus, a very impressive venue. We had quite a number of people passing through, quite a number of readers passing through, and it was very interesting just having conversations with them. There were many issues raised. Um, Top of the discussion today was, surprisingly, the Olympics. This is where it's going to be. It's in this borough that the Olympics will be held. And interestingly, some of the residents were saying, well, while it's a great thing that's come, it is also a problem in terms of all the upheavals that it will cause, traffic, parking, and just getting around the borough generally. But apart from that, we also had some interesting things about people who have lived in the borough of uh, Newham, Stratford in particular, and they love living here. So there were some good things also. We had some young people who came along and they gave their views about how are the services and the quality of the services that are here for young, for young people. So I would say generally we had a very good time here in Stratford and we will be coming to a borough to you very soon. It's the Voice Community Conversation.